Welcome to Zero Page Homebrew on a Friday. Yay. It's the weekend. Yay. Yay. <laughs> do you have a drink? Oh, you yes, do have a drink. Yes, I do. Okay. Yeah, yeah. We, we rushed, rushed over. Oh. Rushed, rushed, rushed. Home. Dinner. Had dinner like really fast in like five minutes. Yep. Hello, ground trooper. And um, I barely had time to pour a glass of wine. Barely had time barely, for wine. Barely got Welcome yeah. to Zero Page Homebrew, yeah. where we play new games on classic consoles, specifically the Atari 2600, for now. Um, and we have five games to play tonight, mm -hmm. as per usual, a whole bunch of fun games. Let's take a look at what we have. Um, how would you say that first one? Givolver? 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 Givolver. Um, by Random Terrain. Sheep It Up by Dr. Ludos. Mm. Wall Rush 2 Tisk Tusk. Tick Cut. Oh my god. Wall Rush 2 Tick Tusk. Yes, definitely that's meant to be a tongue twister. <laughs> yeah. By J. Walrus. Uh, Disc Donk by BJ Best. Mm. The person who made uh, Space Cactus Canyon. Oh, nice. Yeah. Yeah. And Dr. Game. Flynn and His Pills by Atari 2600 Land. That sounds like a Dr. Mario clone. <laughs> it, is, it does sound like that. It's not quite no? the same. So, no. no. Um, welcome to everybody uh, watching and in the chat. People in the chat that have uh, talked. Mr. Fix, Arena Foot, Ground Trooper, Ice Bosta, Wade Rain, Wade Rain Zybot67. Nice. Uh, coin op who I've never heard be yes. of before. Yes, welcome, welcome. Welcome to the show. We are always Just happy to have new trooper. people. Retro happy hour. Retro happy hour. Welcome everyone. Mm -hmm. And I want to thank all the Twitch subscribers that support the show. Charles and Check, Gretams, Ice Bosta, Jeffrey twenty one twenty three, Mister Fix again, Muddy mm -hmm. Funster, Retro Happy Hour, and Tiki Dan K. Mm -hmm. And you can support us as well if you go to Twitch and click on subscribe. And uh, we don't have a poll question because we rushed, mm -hmm. rushed this week. <laughs> Barely enough time for food, so mm -hmm. we're not starving during the show. Yeah. 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 Um, but I do have uh, unboxing today. Ooh, presents, yes. Okay, this I ordered. Presents you paid for, yes. I ordered two years ago. That's crazy. <laughs> <laughs> and it just came mm. uh, yesterday or Wednesday. No, yesterday because I would have opened it on the yeah. Wednesday show. Um, so I ordered it two years ago and it said, oh, it's a pre-order. It'll come out in a couple months. Mm -hmm. Then every four or so months, it pushed the release date ahead mm. and it did it over and over again, like six or seven times. And I thought, oh, this is never coming out. This book is never coming out. Mm -hmm. um, but it finally arrived. All of a sudden I got an email saying, oh, your book's on its way. I'm like, oh. Oh, that one! Yeah. Oh my goodness! And you'll forget because you ordered it two years ago. Yeah. I, so, so, so did they ever remind you saying this is still in order or this keeps getting pushed or did it just like drop right off the radar for? No, it kept saying it's getting pushed. It okay. kept getting pushed, getting pushed. Because okay. I guess once it gets past its due date, yeah, then something kicks in and the author has to push the push the date forward. I guess that's how it works. So let's see what book this is. See if it was worth the Ooh, wait. It is certainly a lovely hardcover. Oh, some advertising on there. A little bit of stickiness. Look at that. Ooh, that is very nice. Uh, the game console That's by nice. Evan Amos, and I saw a lot of people posting about this on Facebook. In okay. The video game, um, video game, you know, pages and and groups. Um. So I think this is more of an illustrative I love books book. like that, yeah. Like a coffee and, table book. Yeah, where it actually Ooh. breaks down, like literally breaks down all the consoles. Oh, it's wow, got everything. Wow, it's beautiful. Tears them apart, shows the uh, motherboards, um, shows all the controllers. Let's see. There, there's an N64. Nice. What, what, was like, it, what like, is that called? Exploded? Exploded, exploded view. view yeah let's see if we can find the atari 2600 here oh 5200 looks like they're all in order there they are there is a uh light sixer just like mine it's hard <laughs> to tell it's very black very hard to see oh on the left yeah it's a little bit easier 
a light sixer. There we go. So it mo it doesn't focus on the games at all. It's all oh, it's about all the hardware. The hardware. That's cool. Which a lot of books kind of gloss over a little bit. They they focus on the games, but it uh, looks like it breaks down the processor, how much RAM, um, how many colors, the pack-in game that came with it. Does a little breakdown when it was released, how much it was when it came out. That's so cool. it's all about the hardware. Nice. And yeah, it uh, talks about Japanese stuff as well. Goes up to the Ouya. Yeah, what year does this go up to? Maybe they just kept adding. Yeah, that's like, what no, makes no. it hard. Oh no, another year, another, another year. year. Uh, oh, 20, 2015. 2015. So yeah. it goes up to uh, Steam Link and Invisia it, Shield. It, very nice. There we go. Yeah. Uh, oh, it's not one of Arena Foot's books. Nope. <laughs> but very cool um, cover there yeah. with the uh, NES controller and exploded yeah. on the back. That's very, very cool. Very nice yeah. color. If you appreciate the hardware, then that oh, would definitely be a good a good book to get. Whenever I, I see collections, yeah. people posting collections of their stuff, it's yeah. mostly the consoles. And then they have this tiny little pile of games. Yeah, yeah. But it's like they've got every single console, console out there. Yeah. Yeah. Um, but that's uh, that's really cool. Uh, another one to flip through, more of a table, mm -hmm. um, coffee table book. Except uh, I'm too scared to put it out on the coffee table. People will wreck it. Don't touch my books. <laughs> it's <laughs> like your stuff is all locked up in this room. That's right. Nothing's Packed upstairs. <laughs> <laughs> Not for the 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 you know the plebs to, grubby, to get their grubby hands. <laughs> people covering it with sticky jam. Uh, Oh my goodness. Yeah, <laughs> sticky jam. I don't know who of your friends <laughs> has sticky jam on their hands. They all do. I have to assume they all have sticky jam. And it's just going to get all over my books. Um, so uh, somebody named Crazy Chris posted mm -hmm. today in the Atari Age forums saying, just wanted to let everyone know that the uh, Unreal Tournament 2600 soundtrack can now be downloaded on SoundCloud. And there's a link there. So if you take a look for uh, SoundCloud, UT2600 on the forums, or just do a general search, um, you can go check it out. And they had some pretty good tunes with that uh, with that game. So now you can download it and listen to it as Cheeto Fingers. That's right. Yeah. Retro happy hour. I just assume Whoa. everybody has Cheeto Fingers. Yeah. Welcome, the Major Havoc, to yeah. the chat. Yeah. Uh, Cheeto Fingers. <laughs> And uh, Lilla um, mm -hmm. wasn't able to make it to watch the playthrough of his game Rail Slider yesterday, but he did post in the forum saying, uh, great, perfect, the one day I didn't check out Batari Basic part of the forum. Haha, <laughs> so funny to see you try and figure it out, especially when you got it mad at Erlen for shooting the big orange missile when you're trying to capture it. That is how you capture it. By shooting it? By shooting it. <laughs> He got an extra life there, and yeah. you get a hundred points. Blah blah blah. So, he, um, because it didn't, he didn't have any instructions mm. for his game in the forums when we were trying to play it. Mm. Um, so we we're just trying to figure it out, and it, it just made no sense. But he did say it's very, very hard, and he has trouble playing it. So he's going to work on it a bit. So now he has posted um, the instructions for when we play it next time when he does another update. Yeah move that how's how's the microphone i think it's okay yeah mm -hmm. um hi hi mr fix hello mr fix <laughs> oh he's saying hi he's to saying you greetings. specifically yes okay uh, the cats just ran in and out Hold yeah on. they've got on? a lot of energy you're gonna go capture a cat uh, gray cat the easy one no oh the black and white the gray cat ran away this is pixel yeah oh, oh. hold him up a little bit he already tried he's to behind me. the the 26 song. oh look at that angry face <laughs> oh he's kind of happy he did give one blink yeah hi 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 oh hi oh, I see. not too bad so yeah. um let's dive into the games sure um the first one is called guyvolver guyvolver okay by random terrain uh mm -hmm. Dwayne allen han mm. so Switch over to making that. me crazy. You don't are have a dirty? glass cleaner, do you? Well, they're all dirty, so well, you can try. My you glasses are dirty. Ones. I'm sure they're not dirtier than my glasses are. Right oh, now. they might be. They're pretty old. Okay. <sighs> so let's check out Guyvolver. Guyvolver. Anybody else? Oh, somebody said Hypixel. Was there 
Yeah, yep. no, no. So, oh, I yeah, grabbed Pixel's him. Here. Yeah, yeah, I grabbed him. So this one is from a little while back. It's from 2016. Uh, fifth month, 29th day. Fifth month. <laughs> <laughs> there we go. Everything's going. Good. Uh, okay. So here you go. Oh, Once I'm you've starting. got your glasses Once I can cleaned. see through, through these... Uh... So I was talking with uh, oh, Random Terrain, and he said, thanks, that's another game I need to finish. So he's a whole bunch of <laughs> unfinished games. I don't know if the tone was, great, now you're showing off another game yeah. I need to finish, or is it just reminding him that he does that have he a whole bunch of games. needs to get on top of it. Yeah. yeah. Um, the post in the forum says, since Guyvolver is almost done, it's probably a good idea for uh, to have a new thread. The old thread is just experimental versions. This new thread has a version that is much closer to being a finished game. The story, mm. names, and other things below may change over time. More text needs to be added, so it will be similar to the Seaweed Assault instructions. Uh, the story. The Calamitous Cube used in virulent vibrations to eat holes through energy barriers that protect the corridors, corridors of Gytaraxis. Gai oh my god. Gyvolver must repair the energy barriers. To restore tranquility. Restoratives. The pro oh my god, these these names in some of these games. The Prodvocates will help Guyvolver by sending restorative whenever they can get through the vibrational interference. Wow. Press press the fire button to slow down and telekinetically pull a restorative oh. towards Guyvolver. The bar to the left of the score displays how much telekinetic power is available. So one on the left. Oh. Uh, when the telekinesis bar is empty, Guyvolver can no longer slow down or use telekinetic power. So press the button. Why? Press the button. No, not going to do it. There. Yeah. You have to bring that towards you. Bring what towards me? The thing on the right. Did you see it? Well, it's gone now. But, um, uh, release the fire button. We'll let the bar fill back <laughs> up. Remember, the prod vocates are using their own dwindling powers to send that one. See on the left? You have to bring it towards you and you fill back up with, oh, with energy. Uh, remember, the Prodvocates are using their own dwindling power to send Guyvolver a restorative so it won't be there for long. Mm. Life Force Energy. Guyvolver is pretty tough and can handle about almost anything, but a head on collision with an energy barrier will cause damage. Uh. Not going to get it? No, it's not. Uh. The damage is shown in 1435. The damage is shown in the life force energy bar to the right of the score. When the Guyvolver's Guy Volvers life energy is gone, the game is over. Gotcha. So your health is on the right. Oh, it's on the right. There you go. Go get it. There you go. And you fill up. And that's your telekinesis power on the left. Yes. Or slowdown power. Yeah, trust me. When it gets really, really narrow, it's... Uh, Perpendular hooligans. <sighs> The Calamitous Cube will try to slow Guyvolver's process by sending out perpendicular, perpendicular hooligans that come in from either side, so watch out. A perpendicular hooligan can usually be avoided at full speed, but it may be necessary for Guyvolver to slow down in some cases. Mm. So you may want to use your power to slow so it down to avoid it. So you definitely want to avoid it. Um, when I did trial runs, I noticed that the thing that is trying to kill you from the sides that come across mm. always slows for you well it always st stops at the where the opening is otherwise it'd be easy to avoid so you do may want to ah. slow oh Whoa. 1640 a little it's bit better slowly getting better each time clusters the energy barriers have been damaged in waves a cluster of energy barriers will start with the large holes and end with small holes when most of a cluster has been repaired the Prodvocates will rejoice, giving Guyvolver extra points and a bit of life force energy. Controls. Attract mode and title screen. Attract mode displays the title screen for 10 seconds, and then switches to a computer-controlled gameplay demo. This attract mode sequence repeats until you're ready to play. Starting and restarting a game. The game can be started with the reset switch, or by pressing or releasing and releasing the fire button on the left controller. Ugh. Written like a true programmer. Pressing and releasing the fire button. <laughs> Press nice. the reset switch while you're playing if you want to restart the game and return to the title screen. Pause. To pause on the game the game on the Atari 2600, flip the color black and white switch. To pause on the 7800, press the pause button. 
You can also pause the game by pressing the fire button on the right controller. Oh. To resume play, press and release the fire button on the left controller. On-off switch for scrolling borders. The left difficulty switch can be used to turn the scrolling borders on and off. Eh, doesn't make much of a difference. Let's keep them on. Adds a little bit. Uh, Guyvolver. Move Guyvolver horizontally using the left controller. Press the fire button to slow down. Pressing the fire button can also telekinetically pull a restorative towards Guyvolver. Score, the high score, and latest score are displayed during autoplay. The high score will be remembered until your video game system is turned off. So, how are you doing? A little bit better each time? Oh, no, you didn't do very well last time. 820. No, not so good the last one. No, one you're doing a little it. Better. No. Oh, it, it bounces oh. you around when you hit it, so mm. you shift, so it actually gets a little harder. Right. If you accidentally hit something. Right. It's quite sensitive, but it's, like it's, it's interesting. Castlevania, when you hit something, it bounces it... you back. <laughs> so you can't just stand there. No. And easily go through it. Well, you go through the first couple sometimes, but... Um, yeah. Oh, spank that cat. He's clawing up the furniture. What are you eating? <gasps> what did he eat? What is it? Like a thread he pulled out of the couch. Oh, he's wrecking the couch. Stop it. Stop it. Stop it. Oh, there's no point of going for it. If it's just... <laughs> if, it's if you'll just, just die. If you're just going to die. Yeah. Stop it. No. Reminds me of uh, Battletoads. <laughs> oh, this the biking sequence. Yeah, the speed bike sequence. Or well, when actually, you have to fall when, down. You're, when you're falling down, you go through um, gates as well. Not quite like this, but yeah, you have to. They go back run and across. Forth. So you have to go back and forth. It reminds me of that. Since we were just playing that last weekend. So. Yeah, not on the street. No, it it doesn't fall under <laughs> 2600. It's not homebrew and not 2600. Yeah. Not a classic. Well, a classic console. NES. Oh my god. Yeah, it's very hard when it gets narrow. I need healing power very, yeah. very badly. Do you get healing power? You get a yeah. tiny bit. One or two every... Oh, after you pass each after level. After you pass each level, yeah. And when that little colored bar comes to the side, whenever that happens to show up, it hasn't come in a long time. It's probably mad because I didn't get it last time, but last time... There you go. I didn't get it yet. Yeah, because you have to get closer to it can't stop yeah yeah you're, you're basically sacrificing a little bit of life that was good though <sighs> 2540 Zybot says the speed bike section is brutal yes yes it is because it's 3d so that's do you want me to, oh you're that's a demo <laughs> thought, yeah. oh my god what are you, you had to write for it yeah the speed bike <laughs> section uh, uh battletoads is uh, one of the few games i had for it the Nintendo when I was young. The NES, you mean? Uh, the NES, yeah. <laughs> the Nintendo. Well, it was. a whole line it, of consoles. At the time, it was called the It Nintendo. was, because it was the only one um, that anybody knew about. But uh, Actually, it was the only one that came out in North uh, America. Uh, except for, I guess, Game & Watches. But um, I, I kind of have that section still memorized, which, which was surprising after not having played it for a very long time. It is kind of, oh, it is gosh, memorization because it's the same every time. I need to go again. It's really <laughs> bad. Once you start getting, getting it wrong. Yeah, it, it throws you off and they have to readjust and yeah. Usually when I get it wrong, I get it wrong like three or four in yeah, a row. Yeah, and then you're kind of screwed. Yeah. And it's usually get it wrong on the sh really narrow parts. Yeah. And then you're just, it's just dead, 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 dead over. Recovery. Uh, it gets really narrow. Reminds me of Wall Jump Ninja too. I'm trying to get yes. through the tiniest of holes. Except this is a little bit larger than Wall Jump Ninja because you can actually fit through it. Oh, the cats are crazy. The cats are running around over there. Oh, I think you want to slow it down when you're really. Either when it's really far away from you, I don't know, or right before you. You just have it. to time it properly, cause it is. Why does it keep showing up on the wrong side? <laughs> totally wrong Completely side. Completely wrong. It's like doing it on it purpose. It knows.
But the funny thing was playing Battletoads. My brain was just like, touch, 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 touch. Like it, 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 <laughs> it, knew, it was- It memorized it. It had memorized the Some part exact... of your brain is reserved for Battletoads. Yeah, it muscle, it's muscle, level. it's muscle memory. Yeah. It's like, okay, one, two, three, one. Okay, down, down, up, up. And I, it was all there, which is just absolutely insane that I can remember that. Yeah, it's bigger, open up again. That was very close, but I got it. Sometimes it's not worth it, even when you're low, because it's so far away from you, you're risking getting hurt. What? What was I supposed to do? Oh, oh, you not jumping worth out it. All over the place. Oh. Like your and first game was your best game. It's funny how that is sometimes. <laughs> Wait, random terrain did not make the holes random? Are they not random? Center, center, right, 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 right. No, they are random. Yeah. They are random. There is random terrain. <laughs> They may look like they are. See, I'm full, so there's not much point. Unless there you left a bit of room for it, but it's too far away. There we go. Did I gain anything? Yeah. I did? Yeah. Because oh. you were using it to slow down, so whenever. No, it... no, 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 no. It uh, gave power on the right hand side. Hmm? On the right? Your life is on the right. Yeah. Your telekinesis is, is on, on the, the left. left, and you gain telekinesis with that. It's not power, it's not life. You don't get life from it. Oh, what do you get from it? You get t telekinesis back. But you don't gain you? that automatically. Oh. Just by letting go of the Maybe button. Maybe it is power. I, I, do, I thought it was the telekinesis no, that was limited. No, no, no. I mean, it uses, it gets used up. Oh, I see. Yeah. Oh, I just discovered something. If you slow down immediately when the thing that's going across the screen to mess you up. Mm -hmm. oh. Maybe it only works sometimes. <laughs> oh, my God. Oh. How are you supposed to explaining his name? <laughs> yeah. Because he said that I said or you said, what am I supposed to do? <laughs> <laughs> what am I supposed to do? Gotcha. Sounds more like an Italian accent, though. Yeah. If you really want to say his name. Well, a cheesy Italian accent. A cheesy, accent. stereotypical yeah. Italian Yeah. Accent. It's so hard to avoid. Some It doesn't seem like you can avoid it. I do like the fact that it does bump you over I when don't. you hit. I mean, it, not for <laughs> not for the gameplay. Making it easy, but uh, yeah, you gain a tiny bit of health. Do you? Not much. I think you should gain more for it. Oh, uh, see, that was a mistake. I should have gone through. Sometimes you can go through without hitting it. Yeah. Yeah. Done. I think I'm done. You're done. Yeah. I think. <laughs> Maybe one more. Do one more. Okay. Yeah, see if you can beat your twenty five forty. Was your best was your best you we got yeah, pretty far. Really far. Like a yeah. couple runs through the whole thing. No. I'm at full. I'm at full already. Yeah. Give me any more. <gasps> now I need it. <laughs> <laughs> I can hear the cats doing something. Uh, they're doing something. They're doing something in the kitchen. <laughs> I don't wanna know what they're doing. I don't know. <laughs> they're just trouble. See, sometimes you ah. slow yourself down when it would go right past you. So it's, it's not the easiest thing to True. Catch. Get a little health. Mm, can't. You have to be on that half. There you go. Yeah. Well, the holes have to be because I can't get there and get back. That's in what time. I mean. Yeah. yeah. You have your, the holes have to be on that half, and I had that one run where it kept come, popping up on the <laughs> exact opposite sides. Yeah, good job. Yeah. Was good. Avoided it and got the power. Oh, you're doing well. Eh. Probably shouldn't call that until. <laughs> nope. Sorry. My should, apologies. Should not have. Please open up. Hurry. <sighs> Need health. Health. Yay. 
Hey, mm -hmm. tiny sliver of health. It's one of these games that your eyes get mesmerized after not too long because of the mm -hmm. constant scrolling. Well, that health just went away immediately. Mm -hmm. Well, it looked good you got it in the first place. Well, did I lose the health because I was going for it? Oh, 2790. You beat your last score. That was Yay! Good. Yeah. Good yeah, stuff. Yeah, I, I suppose I say the same. Uh, I like that, it, that you know, it gets hard, but then it kind of eases off for a bit. It's pretty good. Yeah, it is It is nice in that in that way. Yeah. Hold it down. Second e? button. Atari box. Nice. Yes, Atari box. Oh, no. Um, you have to hold it down until the screen comes on. My bad. Did you work? Did it work? I thought it came. Oh! Oh, it did work. Yeah. Okay. Sheep it up! Sheep it up. Sounds like fun. So we saw this um, on one of the consoles at Portland Retro Gaming Expo. Oh, yeah, yeah, because yeah. Because it had been released um, on cartridge. Did it mm. have a box? I don't think it had a box. Yeah. I think it was just on cartridge. Mm. Um, so this was released not too long ago, a couple <laughs> weeks ago actually, and a couple days ago, Doctor Ludos um, released no box. Arena Foot says mm. uh, he confirms. Yeah. <laughs> um, it was re he released the ROM as well. So, oh, cool. Because I didn't I didn't buy this game at PRGE because I already had a stack that high mm -hmm. <laughs> and I'd spent enough. Mm -hmm. <laughs> but luckily, released the ROM so we can play it on the game on the show today. Um, so this is by Doctor Ludos. Um, I was talking with him. He said, "Thanks a lot for featuring my game in your show. I don't think I'll be able to join it live. It'll be between 3 a.m. and 6 a.m. Mm. my time zone. So I am guessing Europe somewhere. Yeah. Uh, but I'm eager to see the replay and check whether you beat the high score or not. Oh. So we do have a challenge." <laughs> Uh, this is a very um, hard game, okay. by the way. It's really hard. Mm. Uh, it's cool to see another game by Random Terrain, too, which we just played. Mm -hmm. I wasn't aware of his new project. Well, it's not new. It's a couple years old. Good luck with the show. All the best, Dr. Ludos. Mm -hmm. um, so you can start going, and I'll uh, read out some stuff. Are we good? Yeah. So what am I doing? Uh, you're sheep, and you go up the screen. Mm -hmm. There you go. That's the game. Uh, Sheep It Up is an arcade game where a sheep mm -hmm. has to climb up by hanging himself to fl flying Velcro oh, you straps. Can. You can you can diverge a bit while you're in the air by pressing left or right. Press the button to jump. While in the air, you can use left or right to move the sheep. Jump up onto the Velcro straps, i.e. the flying black bars, to move higher and higher. The concept <laughs> is simple. No, it's not. <laughs> but the game rapidly gets quite challenging. How, how, how... Do I can't jump on these things? No, they're clouds. So basically, I have to jump from black thing to black. Black thing to black thing. That is super weird because you don't. Actually, maybe I'm... I have never seen it like that. I don't think you can do this one because they're perfectly timed with each other. Try pressing to the right. No, I'm not going very far at all when I press to the right. Maybe maybe I should be pushing. Oh, well, don't <laughs> don't kill the joystick. No, no, I'm not pushing that hard. I'm just. Go more to the left. That is Use the super... edges, uh, Rena Foot says. The edges? Oh, to move before it gets there. So when you're going to the right, press to the right. When you're going to the left, press to the left. I am. I think you have to jump and then press. Yeah, I you're, think you're right. Because you're not moving at all when you're in the air. I'm moving ever so slightly. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> I, I feel like the con like you you can move a tiny amount, but. Do you want me to reset it? Because I've never seen this configuration. That's super weird. That's very difficult, actually. Is, um, is there a hard setting? I'm missing something. No, I don't think so. Not that I know of. No. Uh, there we go. That makes more sense. Yeah. I've never seen that. Don't do it in the middle, he said. Use the sides on that double one. Uh, <laughs> Sheep It Up started there jumping up on the Game Boy in 2017. Six months later, the creator of the original Game Boy, Dr. Ludo, started to remake it Started to remake it for the Atari 2600. So now you can challenge yourself to make a sheep climb up the sky oh, with beautiful colors. My goodness. Press the jump button to jump. While in air, you can use left or right to move the sheep. Jump on the Velcro straps, i.e. the black flying black bars, to move higher and higher. 
The current it's high score is 28. Can you beat this score? There you go. Uh, that's a hard one. Two. <laughs> this one's not too hard because you just know. have to time it so it's exactly oh. like, way too early. Oh, oh the squish. <laughs> Sheep as it hits the and the shake. You jump oh. before you run into the side. Oh, that was on that one specifically. Yeah. There you go. So that that is the whole thing. <laughs> is jumping from thing uh, to thing. Velcro sheep. Velcro sheep. Well, the sheep are sheep. The little pads are the velcro. No, but I like <laughs> the velcro. It's, it's a good so sheep. Good. It's a really nice looking sheep. Oh, too, too early. It's a two-color sheet. <gasps> you want to play? Yeah. <laughs> it's quite challenging. It's fun, though. I can see I, I can see this being the type of game it's hard to just pick up and do. You're going to have to practice a little Yeah. to get the timing. See? Done. You, cause you, you, there's no recovery. There's no recovery. Or if you miss not it, likely. you're back to zero. You yeah, know what I mean? So, so that's what it does make it challenging. So. But a little bit of practice, I think. 2T, two 2J. Two yeah. Yeah, no, no, I got more than two. You got uh, four. You, you just got four. Well, it's delay. A little <laughs> bit of delay. True. The That's scores true. are not high in this no, game. No, no. 28. 28 Jeez. is not going to be achieved. You'll do all. Oh. <laughs> mm -hmm. Not going to be achieved. <laughs> I'm pretty good at amoeba jump, which is similar-ish, similar. but you have way more control on amoeba jump. Nice. Way, 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 way. No, yeah, you see, you see, you don't have much, much control in the air. No, it's so slight. Like, oops, I didn't mean to actually hit it. I was going to show how much control you have. Mm. What? Three. Oh, I'm going to try and get this one. I agree, Mr. Fix. Oh, I, I got agree. it. I got it. Ah, <laughs> squish. Ah. Ah. I wonder if the higher you are, the longer it takes to actually hit. Like if you're up at 28, does it go yeah, take a long time? I don't know. Maybe. That would be pretty funny. Ah. <laughs> This game is so hard. <laughs> but you, you want to keep trying because it's, it's, it's that level of hardness that it, it, yeah. it feels like a real challenge. If you like those kinds of games, you know, those games that are really challenging. Five! Yay! Woo! Five! Six! Seven! Eight! Aww. Oh, I should not have. <gasps> are eating and destroying the couch very bad here <laughs> eight. Oh, i don't know if i'm gonna get better than that oh, terrible and um i did play <laughs> i did play this at prge because i wanted to know what it was like and this was pretty much my experience. <laughs> terrible, terrible, terrible scores. <laughs> mm -hmm. It's so hard and such a short game. Now, um, if you go online, you can take a look at the Game Boy version of oh, this. Oh, there's a Game Boy version. Yes, he put this it out in 2017. And, um, stop it, bad cat. And if you look at it, the screen is quite different. I think um, I think I'm gonna fail. This seems random. I don't think I can. You can't. I did it. They're the exact same speed. No, they change. They're... Oh, they're getting wider apart. A oh. little bit wider, just a touch. So you could time it. Whew. What are you eating? Oh, these cats. Did it four. Oh, oh, cats. Oh, need to vacuum. Five. Oh, mm. this one's going to be tough. 
Oh, good Ooh, job. That has got to make that sheep very dizzy. <laughs> How are you supposed to say, I got three in score, not carts. <laughs> <laughs> I wouldn't think you'd buy three carts of this. That'd be very strange. Uh, Mr. Fair. Fix says he, he doesn't even think he'd get one. Well, you'll definitely get one because... Uh, uh, that was hard. Fast with a slow? That's very difficult. So there's oh, the... Oh, cute. Yeah, same thing. Um, the screen layout is a little different. Mm. I can't, I don't know if he shows an animation, but I did watch a video of it. Um, there's five on the same screen at the same time on mm. the Game Boy version. So there, the mm. sheep doesn't jump as high on this, but there's a chance, more chance of you being able to catch one on the way down on the Game Boy one, mm. because there's five on the screen at the same time. Um, so I think he should have made it a lot more like the Game Boy. With more? Where there's more on the screen and the sheep doesn't jump as high. So I'm not sh what? quite sure why. This one, it's easy going to a static No, one. it's not. <laughs> <laughs> what did I get? Eight? You got eight. I got uh, six. I'm pretty happy with six, actually. There's crazy cats. Atari, come here, buddy. Come here. Oh, oh, your water has just become kelp. Did it? No, he didn't. Oh, okay. I want some water. Come here. Come say hello, little buddy. It's what we call water. When the cat is drank, drank out of it, is, uh, it becomes cat water. Yeah. And totally undrinkable by humans. Yeah. <laughs> when it's been fouled by a cat's mouth. Defiled. Defiled water. Hey, sweetheart. Gone. Enough of that. Enough of that. Oh, look at that poor Velcro sheep. <laughs> that is so cute. Oh, you're at oh, seven? Oh, my God. Oh, oh, you got a... Wow. That's the advantage of a, a static one. It is. Like... Oh. 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 Nine. Nine. Oh, ten. I won't get this one. Oh. Oh, fast to fast? No problem. Oh! Another fast to fast. Woo! What? 13. Oh <sighs> nice. 14, 15. Oh! oh. Like ran into you. It ran into me and then came back again. Yeah. Oh, the cat got me. Can you kick him out? He's eating something. Or... I know. Pixel. Pixel. Down. Okay. Okay. <laughs> oh, fast to fast. He could have triple players, but collision I had to invent myself. Okay, kick him out. Yeah. <laughs> he's got it. He's well. got to go. Yeah. Maybe you're Say doing well. Smack <laughs> the mic. Maybe you're only doing well because he's distracting he's me. Room. Well, yeah. we'll see on this next. <laughs> nice. Ooh, that's fast. <gasps> God! <laughs> oh! It went, it went past it me. It went and into then, you. No, it went into you. I guess that's the advantage of a fast one because yeah. you have so much chance of actually hitting it. it. Like rebounding and hitting you. All right. Oh! <gasps> The other advantage of a fast one. Yeah, that it catches you. Oh my gosh. Oh, 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 oh my, my god. god. Oh, oh, crazy. 
Oh. oh, yes, Mr. Fix, holy sheep. <gasps> no, 25, that is amazing. That is amazing. Uh, I'm gonna retire on that. Yeah, <laughs> me, I'm not gonna get 25. So you have to beat that, 25. <laughs> uh, well, I got one. <laughs> Yay, one. <Yeah. laughs> Good job, though. A lot of luck. Yeah. A lot of luck there. <laughs> Oh, man. Do androids dream of Velcro sheep? Yeah, yeah, yeah. They do now if they played this game. Oh, that's so funny. I like the clouds move. That's nice. The yeah. sheep's really good. I think what could make this game a lot better is that you could move the sheep more, like mm. direct it more, and that oh. there's more Velcro on the screen, and he just doesn't jump as high. Yeah. Unfortunately, well, he, he made it originally on the Game Boy. So he didn't do any testing, as far as I know, in the Atari age forums. I didn't know about this game until Al announced it, mm. saying it was coming out at PRG. And I'm like, what is, what is this game? I've never heard of this game before. Mm. Usually you hear something, something like a little inkling. And they usually like do testing beforehand to see yeah, arena foot no testing in aa mm. but i i can understand that a little bit because he'd already made the game for another platform so i guess he was he had a lot of confidence in that it's going to be totally fine yeah arena foot says never heard about it before either um so yeah it just popped up hey we're selling the cartridge it was <laughs> unexpected that's for sure mm -hmm. and i that's very very rare uh, 26, Spindly1970 says 2600 NES games ramp up in difficulty so quickly. Nice looking game though. Like the way the screen adjusts. Yeah, it's very smooth actually. Mm -hmm. The scrolling to the next cloud. It is, it is it very is nice. nice. The sheep is a very natural like jump. Like the gravity on the sheep's really good. Um, 12, really good actually. <laughs> if I hadn't done the 25, like this beat all my other scores. Yeah, yeah. Like, this is really, really good. But it's funny, because watching you, and now I'm going to I'm gonna mess up. <laughs> uh, watching you, you, you start seeing the timing a little bit more. A like, watching bit. it happen, it kind of gives you a hint of... You have to figure mm -hmm. out... Yeah, there you go. Yeah. Where you have to be Ugh. for each of the speeds, and then, and then you just have to press mm -hmm. it. Oh, that was lucky. The fast the ones fast are good. The fast ones actually are... The faster, the better. But this, this is challenging, because... Uh, not as challenging, because you can steer uh, a little bit. I'm moving really fast. Just... Oh. oh! See? It's, 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 it's when to jump off. That's really nice, too. The game over. Yeah. Really but good. But 14 was very good. I'm very happy with 14. Yeah. I will end on that on note, that? too. Yeah, I'm not yeah. going to make it to 28, I can tell you that much. But 25... I think we did really good. Yeah, and like I said, a little bit more practice at it i think yeah. you'd get the timing a little bit more so i'm yeah. happy with 14. yeah interesting game yeah i probably still won't buy it no it's mm. a little simple there's not much there yeah it's a little simple i mean what it does I it does well compared like, to um <laughs> immediate amoeba the amoeba jump oh that's which like feels very this, similar but in in, such... in its upward scrolling yeah um, but I, I think I like Amoeba Jump a little well, bit more. There's like ten other things going on to do it. Yeah, in no. Amoeba Jump. But Amoeba Jumps, yeah. It's got white platforms, blue platforms. Yeah. It's got letters to collect. Mm -hmm. You can move. You can wrap around yeah. the screen. Yeah, but it's there's still it's still white, fun. Full white, full blue ones. Yeah. There's yeah. Super Jump. Letters and yeah. 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 There's yeah. a lot more in Amoeba Jump. This is like your Very sheep. Simple. You jump. Yeah, I do That's like. It. I do like balloons on will will add static clean. Yep. Um, <laughs> I just I do love the concept of a sheep hitting hitting Velcro though. That is very oh, cute. Oh, this kitty wants out. Well, he wants the door open. He doesn't want out. Yeah, he wants. Well, he does want out. He wants to be with his brother. Yeah. Okay, here we go. What are and we we're going to be playing Wall Rush Two. Yep. Which is a terrible play on words of walrus. Mm -hmm. Just. Atrocious. <laughs> Pull down the button. Mm -hmm. There you go. Atari Fox. And we'll switch over to Wall Rush to Tick Tusk.
I always to... forget it's the bin file. Yes, yeah. always the bin. It doesn't open zips. No, I figured out the zip, but sometimes there are other files too. This game's kind of funny because if you run it on an emulator, if you run it on Stella, yeah, you can't see your score. Oh, really? So the first game I've ever seen where Stella totally messes it up. Oh. And it's perfectly but it's fine perfect on, on the here. Actual... Like for a, a game that's not like really pushing the system. Yes, another one button only game. Yes. Yeah. Um, I think you do move around though. I think. I think what you can I move. Am I swimming? Um, I move. I think you can move. I can move. Oh. I thought you said it's one button game. He said it's one button game. Opposed to all the other Atari <laughs> what button games. <laughs> what is that annoying noise? Oh my god. Okay. Oh, I see. Wall Rush 2 gotcha. is made by Jay Walrus. So obviously he does like Walrus quite a bit. Or he picked his name in Atari Age. Um, oh, so the noise. Did that hurt me? I don't know yet. <laughs> Hello, Atari Age. I made a game called Wall Rush in the beginning of 2016. A more updated version of what yeah, is downloadable. A more updated version of what's downloadable me. here. Recently, I've been thinking there were a few things I could be done to improve it. So now I'm making a sequel from scratch. Funny enough, Scratch was this game's first platform. Uh, the game has a large emphasis on time. The bar in the bottom left indicates how much time left you have before the game's over. So I guess that counts down. That looks like a... Oh, that pauses the screen, I guess. A really annoying sound. Um, Arena Foot says you can move left or right. The hourglass freezes the screen. Don't touch the bottom. No, the bottom's a problem. I don't know. So you're kind of bouncing on... Am I supposed to other? eat everything? Or are these things hurt? Uh, try and eat one of those things. No, that... no, that totally decimated your time. That brought back to your time. Don't eat the spiky red balls. <laughs> um, which decreases over time and with running into exploding red mines. So those are exploding red mines. However, collecting collectibles will increase your score and give you more time. So anything but a red thing. Uh, red mines yeah, are bad. don't eat the red. Stay low for oh, that one. No, but if you get too close to the bottom, you immediately die. So that's the problem. That's fishy. the challenge. If you, fishy. If you, if you fall too far. Fall far. Fishy. This game is a work in progress. There is a lot of work to make into a full game. The game over screen is literally just a draw screen loop at this point. I hope to keep it under 4K, but I only have 135, 1,355 bytes left, so who knows. So let's see if there's any other... Don't touch the red, eat the blue fish. So that's the whole game. So I don't get, know about this guy. So you what is that guy? He gave you points. Okay, I like Five points. points. So I guess it's good. Looks like a kind of a clock. It's like an hourglass I thing. Oh. <laughs> it's weird though, when I move, I suddenly fall to the bottom. So I, I'm, there's something about the movement I'm not quite getting. Let's see. The hourglass will freeze your time for a while. So the bottom right stops animating. So the bottom right is used as a timer when you do get a timeout. Um, let's see what else. There are additions here. What is the walrus bouncing on? Ice? Is he trying to f avoid falling in the water and freezing? I don't see any story provided for what's going on. <laughs> Stan Jr. says. I think you've got a winner of a concept, but the game need, gameplay needs fleshing out. Um, and then somebody noted the weird time um, mm. score issue on uh, mm. Stella. Okay. Let me give it a go. It's unusual. This controls like joust. A little bit, yeah. Yeah, it does. I did you're, notice that if you you're do You're bouncing. This. You just say at the top. Which is fine, unless the stupid things are bouncing. Oh, see? Right out. I'm just trying to cheat here. Yeah. For oh. a second. Oh, you're doing the, uh, uh, you want that. Funny. I mean, I can turn it off and do it myself. So 
64. Gives you lots of points. I'm not sure those red things go up to the top. No, they 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 not always. There are different there are different positions on the screen. That stops time and plays it very, oh it does go up to the top. Sometimes. Yeah, that's what I mean. Yeah. Wow. That's hard to avoid. Yeah. It's hard to avoid when it's up it's up high. But if the timer stops the screen, all it does is stop the scrolling. Everything else acts exactly the same. The red things still come by. The fish still come by. All it does is stop the, s the scrolling of the water. Ah! It's a very strange game. <laughs> <laughs> very strange. And your character doesn't animate at all either. No. So unless the red thing is absolutely touching the top of the screen, you can avoid it. Oh, that one's so hard to avoid. That's your only challenge, yeah. is that one. So just like Joust, you can just skim, 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 the skim along the top if you want. Fish. Yeah... I think this game needs something else. Yeah. I don't know what. Yeah. It's just... It's a little too simplistic. Nothing's changing either. Yeah, like... It's... Too simple. Except for that thing. Which is almost impossible to avoid. Mm -hmm. I have not successfully avoided one. When is it the top of the screen? Yeah, because if you go too far to the bottom, you die. You die, and and you can't bounce underneath. Your it. bounce is so high. Yeah, and that's that's kind of the challenge of the movement. But uh, ah, there. Well, that one's pretty high though. Mm -hmm. yeah, yeah, you kind of have to time it either over and you have above to move. It. You have to move back and forth. It does. It is very joust-like. Yeah. It's too hard and too easy at the same time. Yeah. Like everything is too easy except for that one wobbly thing. Mm -hmm. And your bounce is, is like a third of the screen your bounce is. I'm gonna get another glass of wine. Okay. <laughs> I'll be back. Quick. Just bring the bottle down. <laughs> Anybody else can think of uh, ways to make this game better? Like, the fish are great. Like, the look of the fish are really, really amazing. The walrus, the size of it's cool, but, um... It doesn't animate. That could be something. But he's trying to keep it under 4K, so... He's trying to keep it really simple. And the timer... Of course, I died immediately. The timer does nothing other than visually change things because the background doesn't scroll. Like, watch. Fishes still come. Bad guys still come. All it does is make an annoying noise and stop the screen scrolling. Oh, and a cat came in. Oh, actually, the the red thing didn't hurt me when the timer was... When it went off? Yeah, I'm going to check that one out. What? Navigate between logs? Yeah. That is that be... what those are? What? They're oh, they're spiky red things. They're not really described. Spiky mine explosions. Oh, they're mines. Watch. Okay, this. No, nope, did it hurt? No, it didn't. Okay. There is a point for the time. The red things don't hurt you. Gotcha. So it does change something. But then you might as well make it invincibility rather than timer. Just like yeah, flash. it's not complete invincibility because you can still fall off the screen. True, but in uh, Mario Brothers, when you have invincibility, you fall off the screen. You're dead too. True. Oh, so now I'm going dun 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 Oh, uh, what oh is it? when the you timer. lose your life bar. Oh, I guess yeah, if you don't... it becomes frozen. I've never had a trouble with yeah. the bar. 
No. Because there's plenty of Oh, I, I was playing and I ran out at one point, yeah. I mean, it, it's a bit random what you get, so. That's true. If you I don't probably get missed fish, a couple, though. and then well, there you go. Hi, buddy. But fish can give you quite a bit. Sweet. Those are hard to avoid. The hourglass lets you earn game time? Yeah. Oh, the big hourglass. Yeah, it did give me quite a bit there, actually. But I haven't really had a concern. Yeah, yeah you do. Back up you, to full you, <laughs> it's more about too many of those wobbly red things in a row. It's just not enough. There's just not enough going on. You're enjoying this game. You like Joust. Um, it, Joust is hard, but I do enjoy it. Yeah. Aww. Okay. That's enough of that. Yeah, I'm, I'm done. I don't need to play it again. It's just a weird game. Hi, sweetie. And not enough to it. Yeah. Okay. Next. So let's check out what's next. And what's next is... One second. Hi, sweetie. Disc Donk. By B.J. Best. Dunk. Put it down. Uh, sorry, sorry. There you go. Mega fire zone. Yeah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Don't want that on. Uh, by B.J. Best, the guy who did Space Cactus Canyon, and this is. Oh, let me switch over the graphic. Mm -hmm. Good job. There we go. Um, nice. So while Mace, while Mace. Whilst I was in the process of making tombstones, the ROM wound up being slightly larger than 8K. After adding everything to make the game feel polished, I used about 9K out of 16. I figured I couldn't let all that extra space go to waste. Mm -hmm. So, And then he goes on to talk about a um, game that he used to play on a Texas Instruments. And we're going to take a look at that video right now. And... Uh, show you what he based this game off of. So, one second, let me bring it up. And we'll take a look where he got his idea from. Shoot it up. Wall rush. There we go. Go to the link. I'll bring it over here. There we go. Let me bring up the screen. Okay, so here's the the game. It was it's called TI Invaders. He says he grew up with the TI-99 uh, 4A and one of my favorite games was TI Invaders. My favorite part of the game was the bonus round where you shot a spaceship back and forth that got increasingly smaller. So here's the normal, which is Space Invaders. And uh, so here it is in a grand tradition. I'm happy to present to you Tombstone's Beanside. So this is what he's talking about, this part of the game, where it's a bonus, where you shoot a, a saucer back and forth, and it looks like the score increases, and it gets smaller as you shoot it back and forth. And he missed it, and then it goes back to the normal mm. game. Um, so we're going to take a look at his interpretation Yes, yes, Space Cactus Canyon, High Score, Score, Screen Burn, Slow Burn, and Tombstones Programmer. Mm -hmm. um, Disc Donk attempts to replicate as much of the TI Invaders bonus game as possible while tacking on enough extras to make it a full game. Okay, go for it. And I'm going to turn it down because this game is... There we go. One second. Oh, gosh. Oh, oh, you lost it. It's challenging when it gets four, small. Four, six, four. Oh, you get... Oh, it's multiple lives. Okay. 
Uh, facts, features, facsimile of the TI colors, sound effects and graphics and gameplay, same increasing point values as the TI version, dramatic explosion animation, and so sound after the 15th hit of the saucer. So you have to hit it 15 times. Uh, three stages per level. In each stage, the saucer moves faster. Five separate levels, increasingly blockaded. Not sure what that means. Oh, we'll see, I guess. Oh. Ah. Motivational messages between levels and extra ship, too. ID and sound effects stolen vaguely from Munchman. Hypnotic title screen and game over graphics. We'll see that in a second. Uh, and a corpicconia of curses as you miss a three-pixel-wide three, three pixel wide saucer at the top of the screen. So you got it down to about four pixels. I don't know how many hits you had in it. But you definitely discovered don't try and start hitting it until it gets to around the center of the screen. Because otherwise you only have that much left. feel like it should have just it, it, it snuck right by. You want to yep. go? I will take a shot at this saucer. You don't want to hit it now. It's fun. Well, it doesn't matter when it's so slow. When it's so yeah, slow. Yeah, I guess it's not you true. Can, you can do it, but when it gets really small, you actually do want to give yourself space on the way back. Kicking butt. Yeah, I don't want to get it over there too much. That's where it gets challenging. There you go. Ooh. <gasps> Down to four. Oh, good job. <sighs> That's a pretty good explosion. Yeah. It sounds slower. It is. It starts really <laughs> than before. slow. Oh, it just sounds, starts really it slow. It ramps up pretty fast. Like once you get off your ah. game, once you get off your game, pff, goes right off. Yep. Doodly, doodly, doodly. That noise is a bit much. <laughs> I had to turn it way down for the listeners. That's how you do it. Yeah. <laughs> Good job. Oh, it's fast now. Yeah, it's really fast. You can pretty much not even miss now. That was a very lucky catch. Pixels ran off the screen. Poor little pixels. Yeah. Mm. This is an Atari. No, that's. Yeah. yeah. Are you a heavy sixer? I think you're a heavy <laughs> sixer. He is. Yes, we hurt. It's definitely not a light sixer. No. <laughs> he likes his crunchies. Yeah. <laughs> Now changing. it is, so you have to defeat it three times. Oh boy. Yeah, I'm not gonna get this one. <laughs> I think you will. You just have to do it on either side. Uh, it's getting, getting tiny now. Moving as fast, so. Not yet. <sighs> nice. Uh, Wade Rain says the simple animations are really cool. Mm -hmm. I mean, it's very, very old school. Kind of look to it, like early '80s, which I'm sure that's when the original game came mm -hmm. out. Nice. 
so slow. Uh. Oh, oh, now it's fast. Uh. <sighs> Barely rescued that. Uh. Oh. <clears throat> I think you got an extra life in there somewhere. I think I got one. I must Man. have. Oof, super fast. It is. At least you can move faster than it. Yeah. Well, <laughs> that's kind of a requirement, I think. Yeah. Ah! Oh. With that, I retire. <laughs> <laughs> one more I'll for play you. One more round. Yeah. Eighty-nine seventy-five. Did I don't I, think I'll did be Did I get the world record? Oh, I'm starting at your level. Oh, what? I think that's a mistake. Yeah. Wow. Okay. That's interesting. I guess it has a continue function. It's kind of yeah, cool, kinda. I guess. And you. Gives, gives me the opportunity to play this level. I'm not sure I'd make it Not there many 2600 games do that. Where it, it lets you continue at the, the difficulty you're at. Like, it didn't say continue. And I, I bet if you do game reset, it'll um, reset it. <laughs> oh, I'm not no. doing as well as you are. <laughs> oh, terrible. I don't know if you guys can hear that. I want to crank that up. <laughs> Why am I so bad at this? <laughs> oh, my timing's off. Enemy is level reset. Oh, the enemy. Yeah, it's going slow. Just not the stage. Not the stage, which is good. Yeah, that's not as fast as I. No, it was not as fast as I was ended up on. So it's not exactly the same level. It's kind of the second stage. I don't know if there's one after this where there's more barriers. Oh, terrible. What did it say? Let's see. Because I didn't understand it at when he was saying it at the time. Uh, five separate, five separate levels. So this is cool. only this the is second. Two. Yeah. Increasingly blockaded. Oh, I can't imagine how much, how much worse it will get. It took a long time to get to this. Three stages per level. Three stages per level. I killed a lot of them though. You did. So, oh, this must be like level. Um, oh no, this level is three then. Four. You kill it three times and you move up. Yeah, I must have killed it like I don't know, eight, ten times or something, right? Mm. Mr. Yeah, Fix but says, you... go ten, you go. He's your mm. cheerleader. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know how many times, but it says three stages per level and then five separate levels. So. But it says it gets increasingly blockaded every level. And it, this is the first time that there isn't any blockades. And I swear I killed it like ten times, mm. for sure. No, but you, you played this level. Yeah. Arena Foot says the world record is 22,635. Hmm. <laughs> oh, it's like once you're by off. BJ Best himself. Oh, uh, well, well, he liked the he liked the old game, right? So he obviously and he got a lot of practice in it. And it is very straightforward. You just do the exact same thing every game. It just gets harder to do the exact same thing. It's kind of like um, sheep it up. You're doing the exact same thing all the time. Oh, oh. it's just timing. I want to see if we can get Good. to a next barricade. Yeah, I'm sure you can. Because <laughs> this is the instructions don't make sense. What do you mean? You you beat it three There's times, three you stages, get to the next stage. The next level. Three yeah. stages. But remember, you you died. 
when you die, you start back at the beginning of that level. So it feels like you've killed it many times, but you didn't like, kill yeah. it eight times. You killed it three. No, I killed and it And then a lot. In, in the final round, you won the first two, so you did it five times, and then you lost three lives. Do you know what I'm saying? No. It's, that's you, one. That's one. You killed it three times, and you killed it twice at this level. You made it to the third level. Yeah. Within it, within this, this whatever you want to call it. it. Says there's only three per. Yeah, but then you so died. You had at least three lives, and you died at least three times. That's why it feels like you you killed it eight times. You got very close to the end, but didn't kill it. Uh, a bunch of times. You need instant replay on that. Yeah, of course. <laughs> ah. Ah! Oh, see, that happened a bunch of times. Yeah, but it doesn't reset the whole game, does it, to zero? I don't no. have to start from... So no. I've, I've still killed it once. You've still killed it once. Okay. That's what I'm saying, but it, it feels, feels like you killed it eight times, but you didn't. Uh, okay. You only killed it five times. Two. Mm -hmm. So after this, the barricade should change. Mm -hmm. Okay. There's a screenshot with more blockages on his final screen. On his final screen with that screen. Ah! So fast. Oh, no, 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 no. You actually shoot and then go back. <laughs> yeah. And then it slows you down. Mm -hmm. You can do it. Mm -hmm. do. Mm -hmm. <laughs> it's like you get one more chance. <laughs> That's it. You do only get a second, a second shot, basically. Yay! Three. Cool. cool. Okay, and then it changes. No, it didn't change. Oh, I'm surprised. Uh, I think it's glitched. If it's a new game, I think there, I think that there aren't barricades over the ones that are there. Oh. Okay. So it's, I suppose it thinks that I did just start a game, and it just put in barricades, but you can't see them because there's already barricades there. Which totally makes sense. So this is level two with barricades. Got to race the barricades. Yeah. The games, yeah, it kind of makes sense. I can't remember what number this is now. Uh, fifth? Damn it! <laughs> How did I beat my old score? How is that even possible? I'm not even as high as I don't think as my old. Well, it depends how many times you hit it. If you die before it gets really small, mm. then you earn fewer points. Yeah. I'm done. It's a frustrating it's game. It's a frustrating game. <laughs> kind of a good, good concept for good. a simple game. Well, yeah. And that's what I mean, he did. He made it yeah. to be a simple game mm -hmm. as a B-side, yeah. which I've never heard of a B-side. But I, it's like, I guess he's going to be including it on Tombstones. 
No, he's already put it on cartridge. Has has Arena Foot has he put this on cartridge? Tombstones on cartridge already? I thought so. I thought he did, but I guess it's not yet. Okay, hold it down, please. Let me just I'm switch back. It. And we're gonna go to no, not yet. Okay. So he is going to probably put this as a B side. Doctor Flynn and his what? His pills. His pill. His pills. Uh, more than one. Go for it. Doctor Flynn. And this is made by Chris Reed, Atari Twenty Six Hundred Land. And you understand it almost already? <laughs> nope, you don't. Uh, this this is a game I'm making. In it, <laughs> this is a game I'm making. It's his opening sentence. Uh, in it, pills are coming from the right of the screen to the left. What you do is make sure the pill color matches the whole color it goes into. If not, or it touches the sides, the pill hole becomes smaller. Really. Uh, there are four colors of pill. Red, yellow, blue, and green. The green pill should be destroyed by smashing it into the wall. Uh, if a green pill gets into any hole, all three holes will become smaller. So you don't want it to get it in, in a hole. Oh, I see. Yeah. You want to smash it. There you go. Uh, instructions. Gameplay. The objective of the game is to get the highest score possible. <laughs> this guy's funny. <laughs> Writing his stuff. It's like, yes, yes it is. Uh, to do this, you guide the ever-moving left pills, right pills, into the holes. The yellow pill goes into the yellow hole, red, red, blue, blue. A point is scored when you do this. Touching the sides or not getting a pill into the correct hole or no hole at all causes the pill's color hole to grow a bit wider. This will cause the pill to be more difficult to maneuver into the correct hole. The game ends when a hole reaches the opposite side of the screen. There's a fourth colored pill, the green pill, which must be destroyed. Oh! Uh, destroying the green pill is also one point. Getting your green pill into any of the three holes will cause all three go holes to grow a little bit wider. The pill will move a little bit faster after 25 points are scored. If the correct pill is put into the correct hole three times in a row, or a green pill is destroyed, the hole... The hole isn't its first position. The hole decreases its width a little bit. So you have to get three of them in the hole for it to decrease. You're good on the blue. Oh, decreased all of them. Oh, good. Yeah, it's hard. It's hard. <laughs> Once it's, it's hard. built up. Yeah. It's like Tetris, like, right? It's like the yellow keeps coming from the right, <laughs> and it's like the yellow is so big now. Yeah, your, your yellow is lost. Lost. Oh. It, it comes from, like, the <laughs> bottom, too, which is super All the time. weird. No. Yeah, it's like you're, like that's you're screwed. <laughs> that is totally screwed, yeah. Yes, a B-side, for all you youngins, refers to a hit record second side, because they had to put something on the other side of a hit single. So they put some song that they may think not do as well, but it's not bad. And usually one that doesn't actually go on the record. Or it's a remix of the song that's on the A side. Anyway. And sometimes the B side uh, got really popular. Uh, controls. Press fire to start a new game. Controls are up or down. You cannot move the pill left or right. Press the reset switch to uh, end the current game. Put the black and white switch in the black and white position to play in black and white. In this mode, green pill turns into flashing pill. Putting the switch into color mode will let you play in color. Oh, interesting. That's not, not too many games actually make the game black and white. I want to see that after you're done. They mostly don't do anything now, or use it as a, an option switch, because nobody plays in a black and white screen, usually. Oh! Oh! Yeah, you pretty much just have to wait till the yellow destroys you, right? Oh! Oh, three green in a row! It's, it's, it's if you going... Get, if you get three green in a row, the yellow will go down. 
but in the meantime, you're getting yellow building it up. So you're getting more yellow yeah. than three greens. That's 114. That's a pretty good game, actually, because once one of them builds up, you're kind of screwed. See you, you Wade know? Rain. Have a good sleepy time. Yeah. <laughs> Bye, Wade Rain. Bye. So the, the really the trick is to not ever get the built up. Well, of course. Yeah, but then once it's built up, you, it's sort of inevitable that it starts to become really impossible to get the pills in the holes. Oh, yeah. Green die. I mean, it's... Oh. Yeah, see, it's easy. It's got similarities to Tetris. Mm -hmm. Yay, it's down. Oh, my God. Yeah, it's not the easiest. No. Oh. Hit the green. No, you want to hit it with... Yeah, with hit it with the green. Your stuff smashed in anything. Yeah, nope. but... No, Don't but have no. to hit the specific one. It will, it will bring down the specific one, though. Nope. Nope. Really? Nope. It's random? It's all of them. No, it's not. All of them. It's not necessarily. No, because sometimes it would bring down just one. It was very strange. Really? And sometimes nothing. Oh. It's every three. Not every one. Yes, I know. But okay. sometimes it's not all of them. Doing well. Oh, uh, we'll see. <laughs> Ah! Hmm. No! That's the worst thing I could do! <laughs> oh my god. Ah! Smash! Very Smash. simple. Very, no! It's very, too very fast hard. Now. It's very simple and very hard. Same thing as it did for you. It's putting the yellows on the bottom. Yeah. Which makes it very difficult. Yeah, almost every time the yellow's yeah. on the bottom. Look, again. Yeah. And if, if you have a built up at all, you can't get there. <sighs> get out of here. That one is in the middle. So it's not all the time. And that was at the bottom again. Up on bottom again. Mm. Oh my god, what did that just happen there? Because you, the moment it disappears, another one shows up. So if you're pushing the joystick at right. all, you'll accidentally run it into something. I didn't take down all of them that time. Yeah, it's, it's kind of random. <laughs> Couldn't make it. It's funny because the background's brown. It reminds me of my phone when I, it has that red screen on at night where oh. I try to take down the blue light. I'm like, is the red on? Maybe we should turn, like mentally I just thought that. Oh, it's got the red screen on. Ugh, but no, it's just screen. brown. <laughs> I know you do. Go. Oh. oh no, it's my demise. It's my demise now. Oh my God. Get up there. Get out of here. Get out of here. Get out of here. No. No. Maybe I'll get down again. What? <laughs> Almost. Oh my god. Yay, it's getting down again. Doing very well. I think I've hit top speed though too. Mm -hmm. Infinite play. <laughs> yep. Back down. Yeah, it doesn't seem to be getting any faster, does it? Nope. I have, uh, beat the game. Guys, <laughs> <laughs> oh. uh, guy's probably still playing. Zero again. Good. 
and I'm gonna give up soon. Yeah, you're bored. <laughs> yeah. Kind of repetitive. But not hard enough. Get them back to zero, and I will give up. Uh oh. Uh oh. And Just I run it up. into every anything. Okay. Oh, you still get points. Oh, for the green ones. <laughs> mm -hmm. 226. 226. Now up. Yeah, this game's a little too easy, mm. unfortunately. And there's no settings for hardener. So it does need to maybe go a little bit faster than this, because I can or, I can still or, easily or make it when they're low. Or continually ramp up. Well, yeah. Like the like speed faster gets and faster, faster, and faster, faster and faster and faster. Yeah. It, to, it's, the top speed isn't isn't fast enough. No, it's not. It doesn't go to the point where it's you really can't difficult. get it. Yeah. But I, I guess he's thinking if he makes it too fast and you've got any buildup, you're dead. You're dead. You can't make it. So it was at a point, can I die? <laughs> it was at a point where he didn't make it so fast mm. that you couldn't get it in probably halfway across the screen, maybe. Oh my God, come on. It's funny. Die, die, die. There, there we go, you go. 272. <laughs> Good stuff. Mm -hmm. Um. So we played a lot of simple games today, yes, it's right? Yes, true. They were all pretty, pretty simple. Yeah, I think I was building up these simple, simple to pick games. Up. Yeah. Yeah. Simple to understand. Simple to, I it guess, kind of master yeah. or understand completely. Yeah. Anyway. Yeah. Yeah. Understand the tactics. Come here. Come here. Um, oh, I'm so so we played a uh, guy Volver. Guy Volver. Which was fun. Yeah. Getting through the whole. I like Guy Volver. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. That like was that a fun game. one. Oh. Um, Sheep it up. Very cute. Yes. Um, very well done. Yeah, challenging. Definitely oh a challenging my God, game. Oh so challenging. Yeah. And Especially, it's like all or nothing. You die, you're dead. <laughs> yeah. You're back to zero. There's no recovering. Mm. It's all over. You mm -hmm. only have the one life. Reset to zero. Mm -hmm. Um, I think there's, there's room for Guy Volver to add more things into it. Mm -hmm. And, um, sheep it up. Well, he's done. It's released on cartridge. Okay. But I think he could have made it closer to his uh, Game Boy version yeah. where there's more on the screen mm -hmm. and you just hop shallower and steer a bit more. Mm -hmm. uh, got approval for the 3D games. Awesome. Excellent. Thank you, Arena Foot. Mm -hmm. um, we're thinking about, about doing a 3D game episode, not completely the whole episode because okay. there's only three of them, yeah. where you have to have those red blue 3D glasses. Oh, really? Because all you need to do <laughs> is. Sorry. To have 3D mm. is to have two objects, one red, one blue, at different spaces apart. Yeah. And a red blue glasses. Yeah. And the further they are from you, the further apart they are. Yes. I think, or closer, one or the other. I think it is the closer they are to you, the further apart they are. Okay. And that's what creates 3D. So on the 2600, all you have to do is draw two of the exact same thing. Um, and then you've got 3D because your eyes put it together. Mm -hmm. And somebody made three of oh, the programmer had passed away. What? Pa what? That's weird. <laughs> like the, the guy who made the 3D games and you got permission from the person who inherited the 3D games? Hmm. Atari 2600 Land made Adventure of the 50 foot tall stock of celery. <laughs> That's interesting. It was just strange. Not, Not strange, strange good. good. Strange <laughs> bad. Strange, yeah. Yeah, we watched a movie the other day, Dark Star, where it was strange it, and not uh, strange good. It, it, yeah, it was. Uh, it was strange bad. It was weird. Weird and boring. 
It was very John Carpenter's slow. John f- f- first full feature film. But it was it was a film he did like right out of film school or something. After film school. Yeah, yeah. right after film school, and apparently took like four or five years. And to he got film different it. actors because it and took so long. It was playing so the same role. Weird. It it was almost like a sketch science fiction film. Yes. Where there were just a bunch of sort of snippets, of, snippets things. of things. Anyway. And the writer it was weird. Apologized it was weird. for the film. Yes. In the intro, I've of never the film. seen that. Right as you start up the DVD, the writer basically says, "I'm sorry. <laughs> this film sucks. This film's terrible. If you don't laugh, I don't blame you." Yeah, it, or, or it a was a science fiction that we tried to make a comedy, but no one laughed when they first saw it in the theater, and we realized. And then he made Alien. Yeah, which was a <laughs> massive. Hit. And then he said, "I guess I'll try to do a sci-fi that's not a comedy." And then he wrote Alien. So yeah. there you go. So that's pretty awesome. So everybody, dig out your three yeah. D glasses. Yeah. That are so they're coming down the pipeline. Maybe in not not the traditional three D, the gray ones, the actual red blue, because that's yeah, not the polarized ones. The polarized ones. The red blue glasses. Yeah. <laughs> I yeah. think I have some somewhere. You if probably not, do. I'll have to buy some. Yeah. Um. <laughs> We can't see the 3D effect. Yes, if you have glasses, you will. Mm-hmm. You will be able to see the 3D effect. <laughs> That's why you need to find some glasses. Mm-hmm. Um, we, we will see your player moving around the red-blue flicker mess if you don't have glasses. Mm-hmm. <laughs> yeah, it, it'll transmit just perfectly fine yeah. over over um, over the screen because we broadcast at 60. I see it at 60 here. Mm-hmm. It'll be exactly the same for you. So you will see the 3D effect. Mm-hmm broadcast in 3d yeah <laughs> I wonder if the, it's the first uh show to ever broadcast in 3d well n- yeah because all most you mean of, like a twitch like a live yeah stream? A twitch maybe because all the other game systems like um sega master system and genesis had 3d glasses same as um the vectrex but they all relied on um shutters glasses like going on and off flickering on flickering and off. on and off yeah. which you can't replicate on the other person's side no. no um so there you go if the color is not rich enough to block the opposite color the effect won't happen oh. i'll do some tests beforehand mm. um some private broadcasts mm-hmm. so that i know that it will work or at least i'll try mm-hmm. to make it as best as possible um uh wall rush 2 hmm not a kind of not much going on there not a lot yeah. happening not even to the point that i wanted to play it a second time i was like mm. yeah it's too yeah. easy and too hard it's weird yeah. uh i don't like that i don't like the joust like i'm not a fan of that kind of you're bouncing to keep yourself up in the air from keep you from dying yeah, yeah. i'm not a big fan of that so that's mm. not my my kind of game yeah. um and and it seems to be missing some elements a little bit there yeah like it's a little it too more. simple yeah it needs more things. not a terrible concept but it just needs a no. little bit more fleshing out or something yeah just a couple yeah. more additions i to like it. the walrus yeah, I like that wallet. he's got little the fishies teeth. are nice. Yeah, yeah, the like, flopping fishies. The, yeah. the whole the general concept's kind of cool. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mister Fix, we do want Shoplifter, and actually, speaking of which, the first I was reading an art- article today mm. about um, stealth games, um, the genre of um, stealth, mm. and the first ever stealth game was called something something Shoplifter. Oh, really? Where you had to evade the security guard. Really? And steal stuff from shelves. <laughs> That's awesome. And it was a text-based game on a really a old computer. text-based game. Where your character was made of text. Oh, and, I see. And the, the, okay, the yeah, yeah, yeah. things you were picking up with dollar signs. When you say text-based game, I'm thinking, oh, you know, text- open door. <laughs> Maybe ASCII. ASCII, be a better ASCII, yeah. Description. So, so the ASCII symbols to create the characters, <laughs> yeah. I can't make shoplifter. I need to make Wizard of War sounds. <laughs> That's right. Finish up your Wizard of War sounds. Yes. Um, <laughs> shoplifter will come. Yeah, I supposed to can make a uh, proof of concept and yeah. then pass it on to somebody else who'll <laughs> yeah, finish it off. Yeah. Perfect. Yeah. We got it down pat. Yeah. Um, but anyway, it was the first ever stealth based game mm. that anybody can find right now. I can't remember what the game, uh, the computer was. It was made on a computer, but it was a Japanese computer I've never Mm. heard of. But if you look it up, look up stealth, like first stealth game uh, called Shoplifter, and Mm. you'll find it. There you go. Um, And Disc Dank, 
it's really good at yeah. what it is. It's, it's a very simple game. It's a one note game though. It's a little frustrating. Yep. Those kinds of games are though. I, you think of Galaga or Space Invaders or anything where you're just shooting and there's well, not Galaga's a lot of Galaga's different. Space Invaders. No, no, it's... but but you know there's not a lot of um shooting evading timing except you're not evading. Yeah, and there's not a lot of uh it doesn't it doesn't give you a lot of extra chances. You know what I mean? No, yeah. there's not. Yeah, yeah with Galaga, at least they can fly by you, and you can try again you can to try shoot again. them. Yeah. But that one, you miss, you're Just dead. Off the you get two shots at it, <laughs> and you're done. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> she gets tired. I get tired. It's the wine. Yeah. <laughs> I'm not actually uh, that bad. That tired. Doctor Flynn and his pills. Kind of cool concept. Yeah. As you, I, I mean, you, you adapted to it pretty quick, and you yeah, found it quite I easy. Yeah, I maxed it out. Um. Uh -huh. I think it's all just it's all just uh, that fine control and movement. Yeah, and not once, messing up. Once you up. master that, it'll probably just keep going. So yeah, yeah and it needs to speed up. It needs to get harder. Harder. A lot harder. Yeah, ramp up slowly, but get yeah. harder. Yeah. Um, but other than that, it's a it's a pretty simple concept, yeah. and it it works. You yeah, know? It, it works. works. Like most of these yeah. these games work on a very simple level. Yeah. Um, mm -hmm. And I ju I just built up a bunch of simple games, and mm -hmm. uh, so. No, you got to get around to them. And uh, speaking of which, if you guys out there have any uh, games that you'd like me to cover um, on the show, just uh, message me wherever. <laughs> Instagram, <laughs> Facebook, Atari Age forums, um, even here. I don't really like answering questions in Twitch because it has a terrible, terrible messaging system. Mm. It, it's, it's like kind of a one-off message. There's no archive it doesn't, it's, it's really not terrible like a chat then or it doesn't it's like somebody sends me a message i can see the message yeah then i can reply to it right there and then yeah but then you can't find it afterwards i, I cannot find it after okay that's i'd have to weird. go to that person's name yeah you have to remember the person's name yeah go to them maybe um hacks i'm not too keen on because it's usually hacks are just like well, oh, it's Dig Dug, except it looks different. Yeah. Well, then I'm just playing Dig Dug. However, there may be theme shows where you look at hacks. Yeah. Because we were talking about that, how... We did one. Sometimes they Halloween. do have hacks, and it's a Halloween hack or it's a Christmas hack, and it's kind of fun to see. Yeah. I think uh, when a hack substantially changes the gameplay, oh, sure. then it's a little different. But, yeah, if it's like all yeah. new maze, and the gameplay is altered a bit, where yeah. it's like, oh, you don't shoot, you have a triple shot or something, because I, I, I did cover... Uh, River Raid 3, I think it was called, mm -hmm. where it actually has a triple shot and it changed the gameplay quite significantly. Quite significantly. Yeah. Um, yeah. It, I get notices, so and so left me a message. Then the stream, it links you to saying the stream has ended. Uh, yeah. I, I, Twitch is just for watching and for chatting. It's good. But yeah. As a messaging system, it's so terrible. terrible. It's yeah. so terrible. Yeah. But Zybot 67, it is like 99% homebrew. So. I usually avoid hacks unless they're really, really well done. Mm -hmm. Like really transformative, let's say. Mm -hmm. um, so homebrew, homebrew out there. Maybe one I've missed, maybe some old stuff that you thought was really good and we haven't seen it on the show. I have posted my complete list in my uh, forum post on Atari Age. You can just do a search and see if it's mm -hmm. been posted. It's under the button show because I hide most of it because it just would take up your oh, whole yeah. screen. It just compacts it down. But you can hit show and do a control F mm. or whatever computer you have. <laughs> <laughs> Apple F. I don't know what it is. Uh, and see if I've played it. But uh, yeah, if I haven't, please uh, send me a message and I will slot it in to the show if it is good. If it's like playable in a playable form. Some homebrew is like really early and it's half-baked idea. Mm. And you can't really play it. Or... I can't play it on the system. It just goes flip, flip, flip the screen and it just doesn't mm. display properly. That is another problem I find with some homebrew mm. where people are starting out using Batari Basic or even um, Assembly. They don't understand what a stable kernel is, what a stable screen is. Um, like 262 lines usually. So it doesn't go like that or mm. just blank out modern hardware. Um, because in Stella, it's fine, but on actual hardware, it's no good. Mm. No good. So anyway, but I'd, I'll, I'd let you, you don't have to figure that out. You just send it to me. You don't have to <laughs> analyze it for how many lines it's going to display. Um, yeah, if you send me a link or send me the ROM or um, anything like that. Um, so got some 
uh, news that we will be away, unfortunately, for the next three shows. Three? Yeah, I guess so, because it lands on a Wednesday, Friday, Wednesday. Unfortunately, we're leaving well, no. on a Wednesday and coming back on no, a Wednesday. No, no, no. We're coming back on uh, overnight Tuesday. We'll be here Wednesday. Will we? Yes. Hmm. So we, you could do it in the evening. Are you making me do a show? <laughs> Let me check the schedule. No, I think second. I think I think you'll be back. You might be able to. I'm not trying to pressure you. Into no, we're it. back that day. No, no, we're. Is that we wrong? fly back overnight on Tuesday? Yeah. Oh. Yeah. So you could sleep and then get up and do the show <laughs> if you feel so inclined. So I'm just saying it's yeah. up to you, but you probably could do it in the evening after after a bit yeah. of sleep. Yeah. Okay. Um, sure. I hate you. Oh, may, you I, may have to fill in. That's okay. If yeah. What I could do is we could I'm just, play. I'm just saying that we will be back in the evening. We could do so. a challenge. We could play like a game. Okay. Because so, I don't have time to research a bunch of no, stuff. No, no, that's fair. Yeah. So what I'll do is I'll play a game that we started playing but didn't finish playing. Yeah. Like a sure. full game. So yeah. I'll, I'll do that. Yeah, we'll do that. That sounds fun. Oh yeah, we're gonna be doing a, a holiday. Um, some holiday games. At For least sure. one episode, probably two, because there's yeah. a lot of them. But I don't want to exhaust them the first year. <laughs> well, you want to play some good ones. So probably two episodes of holiday I mean, games. I mean, I always there's think of, like, of them. Stay Frosty and Stay Frosty oh, 2. Oh, yeah. So you could do one this That's year true. and hold off on one for the next year. You know, you can... There's there's a ton no, of holiday games. I would do Stay games. Frosty the first episode. And maybe Stay Frosty 2 the next episode. Actually, are, are you doing Stay episodes? Frosty 2 is a challenge in the homebrew tournament. So ah. I'll wrap it into that. Okay, yeah, fair enough. Fair yeah. Enough. Reindeer, Reindeer Rescue. Rescue, there's lots, yes. Mm. There's a lot. Like, we did Halloween ones, and I think mm. there was only, like, three homebrew, and the rest I had to do hacks, mm -hmm. because nobody makes, for some reason, mm. Halloween or s scary, even, kind of based uh, homebrew. Mm. It's it's all Christmas. They people love Christmas, <laughs> Christmas themed. What do you think? Monsters. There's so much room for making monster themed games. Yeah, yeah. There's tons, tons of uh, yeah. Bellhopper, Christmas Adventure, Santa Scabs. I haven't heard of that one. Jeez, that sounds terrible. <laughs> <laughs> Santa Scabs. Um, uh, but I did. Let me go to. Uh, the schedule here because I do have some things planned coming up for when we do come back. Uh, let's see, 23rd. That's the Friday. The So the Wednesday, the 21st, was possible. So we will do a show on that uh, on the 21st. Yeah. So we only missed two episodes. Yeah. Won't torture that you for go. that long. <laughs> But we'll be playing Scramble on that Friday after because that... Why am I playing Scramble? Oh, I just <laughs> slotted it in. Why? Why? Because we hadn't played Scramble. We played... Um, what's the other game that's almost exactly like Scramble? Anyway, we would played that one before, but we haven't played mm. Scramble. Okay. And then the Wednesday after that, we'll be playing Dungeon 2. Because um, mm. we played Dungeon 1 last episode. And we won! <laughs> Woohoo! And uh, and then Juno first at the end of this month because it is the homebrew tournament episode. Oh, look at people typing all the <laughs> Christmas games. Gingerbread Man. We play Gingerbread Man. Super already. Cobra. <laughs> Super Cobra. That's the name of the game I was trying to figure out. Oh, Super I see. Cobra. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. So we'll be playing nice. Scramble, which is, I think it's the same. When I was talking to um, uh, John Shampo. It's the same engine because he made both of those games mm. like back to back. I think in the same year mm. almost or the year after. I think it's the same engine. Mm. Yeah. Um, and uh, yeah, and then it's December and we'll be getting wow. into the. Oh my uh, God. Yeah, really fast. <laughs> what, happened? what happened? And then yeah. we'll be getting into the uh, oh. Christmas games. And we'll That's do uh, two of those. And who knows exciting. when. Uh, Daniel Kitch Dan Kitchen's games are going to be yeah, ready. Very exciting, yeah. Don't know when. Yeah. Uh, I've also got, I'm hoping to get interview with Al or Dan done before we leave. Oh, yeah. Good, yeah. In the next couple days. From Portland, yeah. From Portland Retro Gaming Expo. And uh, also, we might do a best of 2018 episode mm. of all the favorite games. Oh, 
okay. You can. Or can, for for around the New Year then. That's a good like New after, Year's Eve. New Year's Eve. Oh. Well, not New Year's Eve or around that time. Yeah. Let's see yeah. what December is like. A December New Year's Eve is on the thirty first. On the Monday. Yeah. Uh. Well. Uh, do it on the twenty eighth. Yeah, for sure. We could do a back to back one. You could do it on the Monday. Well, you could do it on the Monday. Yeah, I could schedule a. Pro uh, I, um, different one but uh was like, considering taking that day off work so. oh perfect yeah all day broadcast <laughs> uh, mm. <laughs> no i might like not. yeah might like to relax a bit well yeah yeah <laughs> just by yeah. playing video games no I, i'm not taking time off over the holidays really so um nice to have the 31st oh yeah one. and the trackball games are coming up as well because mm -hmm. i ordered the whole stack of trackball games mm -hmm. um they are hacks, <laughs> so you'll get your wish. We are going to play some hacks. Yes. <laughs> with a trackball, if I have one. 24-hour arena foot. 24-hour <laughs> broadcast. Woo! I have done a radio Woo! show that was 24 hours, and yeah. I know Darcy's done 24-hour board game well, night. Well, yeah, Darcy, well, you probably mentioned Darcy's store in Vancouver. Yes, and that's why he wasn't here last Friday. Last Friday, every, does he do it annually or more than, every more year. than no. once? Okay, no, no. so Just every year, year he has a 24-hour game night, that's why and they play here. board games for 24 hours from 6, 6 p.m. To, to 6 p.m. the next day. Yeah. And uh, so he couldn't make it last Friday, so, no. yeah. yeah. Um, but uh, that's, we saw him afterwards. Yeah, the next day. And he was pretty tired. Yeah. <laughs> he was pretty tired. At our retro gaming night, and he didn't play any games. He just sat there in, in a daze and talked. He kind of fell asleep on the floor at one point, too. <laughs> that's yeah, okay. That's okay. He's yeah. fine. Yeah, he Doesn't was good. He got a games. good night's sleep, so. <laughs> yeah. I don't know if I could do 24 hours. Gaming? Board gaming? Uh, no, no. I, um, oh, video gaming. No. I would be asleep. I would be asleep. I supposed to bought all 10 trackball games. Nice. Yes, trackball brothers. <laughs> yes, I bought all 10. So it'll be, I don't know, probably over two episodes. Mm. Oh, yeah, I was going to, I forgot a piece of news as well. Um, the Collector Vision Kickstarter um, for the ColecoVision mm. FPGA, it failed, unfortunately. Yes. It did not reach its goal. It got about a third of the way there, just over a third. Yeah. Um, so its Kickstarter didn't uh, didn't it go fell through. Apart. Yeah. Which I did. Um, I did back that Kickstarter um, for uh, FPGA ColecoVision, and it had a whole bunch of add-ons built into it that were previously separate mm -hmm. that you could buy for your Coleco, like uh, more RAM, uh, faster processor, I think, or something. Mm -hmm. um, and it had it all built in. Mm. Um, but they are now offering it just outright. You can just buy it. Because they, I guess they figured the Kickstarter did well enough. That they that have they, enough interest that they can, they can no. get some kind of small run done? Yeah, so they okay. know that they will be cool. able to, with the interest, as long as everybody that did donate... We'll still buy it again. I'm curious, as yes. a complete aside, I know yes. you've backed things on Kickstarter and different things like yep. Indiegogo. Yeah. How many of them have actually kind of given you a product at the end of the day? Do you uh, think? 100% of them. Really? Yeah. Uh, well, All not them. this one. Oh, well. It failed. It yep. didn't, didn't make it there. Oh, I see. Yeah. Yeah, I, I thought you were talking about it succeeded, but then ripped you off. Oh, well, <laughs> a lot of them. I mean, they'll succeed, and the product will can be so so too. But I mean, right, But I yeah. mean, how many of them like totally like didn't didn't get there? Or um, I'm back to a few things. This one and maybe another one, but I can't remember what the other one yeah. is. Um, but this this is the only one I can remember that failed. I think they put their goal too high, and and they said a lot of people didn't want to pay with PayPal. They just didn't like it or couldn't. Mm. And this way, they don't have to mm. if they buy it directly through them. And I also built, bought it with the Sydney Hunter something something oh, boxed copy of boxed it. Boxed copy. So I'll have a homebrew to play on it. Yeah. When I do get it, and delivery is in July next year, so okay. it's a ways off because they have to, they have to do all that. It won't be like your book and take two years. Well, then. there you go. Look. Got all eight. Pebble Watch succeeded, then Fitbit. I I I supposed to, I feel your pain. My Pebble Time Round just. I, well, it didn't die, but um, it's a slow death. <laughs> I tried to sign up for the new database, and now the app isn't working, and I, I'm so very sad. So, but I did buy my Pebble through the through Kickstarter? Kickstarter. I'm pretty sure. 
Did you? Oh, maybe I did. I think you bought it after. I think I bought it after. I think you heard about it maybe with because of yeah, because the, the Kickstarter had ended, um, and I was no, I had put in money for um, a device that was supposed to clip on that you could take running. Oh. And then they got bought out, um, and Fitbit bought them. Uh. Yes. Uh, yes, Pebble was fabulous. And Most successfully pro found a product, funded, found funded product yes. ever. And it yeah. was a good watch. Like there's no... I love that watch. There's still no equivalent. And there's no equivalent. And I'm going to go off on a diatribe that has <laughs> nothing to do with retro gaming. What? But uh, all the watches now come with LED screens. Yes. And I absolutely love that it had the color e-ink display. And That's there are amazing. no watches. No watches that have color, or even really, the, I think there are a couple with black and white, but I'm not even sure if they make them anymore. But you could you could see them in daylight without having a light on. Low power. They were very they low power. They lasted forever. I mean, the, the, the round one had a smaller battery, but I really liked it because to me, um, it looked more what, like a watch. Yes. And it, it was more visually attractive and than the, the square ones. the smallest watch ever made, too. Uh, Pretty much. It was beautiful. Yeah. <laughs> anyway, I'm still upset. Yeah, I'm still um I'm still pissed off. Very version one, one version e one. E-papers charge yeah. lasts all week. Yeah. yeah. We yeah. actually got a We found someone who replaces the batteries for in you. Pebble watch. Yeah, and and the problem I've had with my time round is the round only lasts 48 hours, but the battery does seem to deplete and so now my battery's not it stopped lasting that long and then it kind of died, but we found someone um down, down in the U.S., I can't remember where, yeah. who specifically uh, will take them and fix them. So, yeah. Uh, but no, I, I think it's dead now. I, yeah. uh, the database is all shut down, and um, yeah, it's difficult. I'm I'm kind of sad. I'm very sad. Anyway, yeah, yeah anyway. you hit you hit you <laughs> hit, <laughs> you a nerve. hit on the noise, uh, and I still wish they had the e-ink display. I, yeah. I don't understand That's why. A, most amazing technology. Yeah, I don't understand why someone hasn't um, adopted. Yeah, that it did, technology it did and, really and, well. So um, why isn't it? It's just being it's like they've, buried. They've just thrown out using that technology. It's all LED screens or OLED I mean, or whatever. They're bright and gorgeous. And but all they have that, to turn but... off. Otherwise, they're constantly dragging power. Yeah. And your Pebble never had to turn off. You just looked at it, right? Yeah. Because it's always on. It it's... doesn't use energy by well, displaying. It, it does a little, but it nothing only like an LED screen. But only updating, not displaying. Yeah. Yeah, so it could sit there anyway. for infinity and display it. <laughs> anyway, I digress. That so, was a, a uh, fabulous, fabulous product. Zybot and... says he met Toby from Collector Vision a few times. Really nice guy. Yeah, so I have complete trust in them because they've released so many products yeah. for the ColecoVision over the years. Yeah. Um, Brown Trooper was saying he's only been screwed on one Kickstarter. Is... Snaps? 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 <gasps> Is that that um, video game watch thing i don't know what that is i don't yeah. know what snap is but i i remember that some people got ripped off on the, on something like that yeah just look up snaps paste paste snaps the nine dollar magnetic adapter for your mobile devices oh that's oh i love those things did that not happen oh well it it happened but i guess they know Three million dollars they made with seventy thousand backers. Did they never ship it, or what? They got a ton of cash. Oh my god! But that's such a great idea. Magnetic iPhone quick release charger. Yeah. <laughs> Kickstarter success snaps is ignoring its backers and selling directly. <gasps> so it just ignored it them. It took the money, and then sold them after the fact and ignored the people who gave them the money. Oh my god. <gasps> That's the worst ever. Oh. Wow. Because a lot of people are very scared to use Kickstarter now because of that kind of thing. Oh. Yeah, oh, they terrible. took the money and ran. That's terrible. That is terrible. Yeah. Sorry to hear about that. So if you actually want the product, you'd have to give them more money. Mm. Because you, I've heard of that. Kickstarter's shipping product to people who ordered the product after they successfully got it. And the backers don't get it. Yeah. Because it's like new money coming in. And they like the new money better than the old money. Terrible. Um, but that's it. We've gone off <laughs> way off tangent. So yeah, we'll be back curious. <laughs> in uh, yeah. 
not a weekish. Yeah, a weekish. Yeah. Not ne not this coming Wednesday, but the Wednesday after yeah. on the twenty first. Um, so mm. thanks for hanging out with us. Yes. Um, uh, Ice Bosta, Ground Trooper, Mister Fix, Nintendcade, Nintendcade three hundred and sixty, Zybot sixty seven, Arena Foot. Did I say that? Ice Bosta, uh, Mister Fix, Wade Rain, all the other people. Spindly nineteen seventy. That's a new name. Yeah. Thanks Hello. for hanging out with us. Hello. Yeah. Uh, any other major, the havoc. major havoc and that's as far back as i can scroll so thank you very yes. much ground trooper too yeah oh ground trooper as yes. well of course and um so yeah that's about it we've talked about all the shows coming up and uh oh, make sure you follow ground and subscribe. troopers prime got uh, updated too so oh thank yeah. you we thank you mess we will uh, mention that in uh did i not mention it off the top Oh, I didn't. So it, thank it, you. It popped up as, it? as yeah, as oh, you were talking. It. Yeah, no, oh. I think he just got completely uh, oh, sidetracked. Oh, sorry about yeah, that, Yeah, I Grand saw Trooper. that. It did pop Thank up. you for subscribing. Thank um, you very much. Probably three or <laughs> three or four months in a row. Did I? Yeah, it said three months in a row. Said three. Okay. Yeah. Thank you for subscribing three months in a row and and helping helping yeah. us out here. Yeah. Encouraging us. Yeah. Um. So make sure you subscribe to uh, Twitch and uh, Facebook and Instagram. And everything and all the and things youtube all the things and we post this on youtube <laughs> the next day yes so if you missed any any of it you can mm -hmm. rewind on twitch but uh, the higher quality is on youtube mm -hmm. for some reason youtube handles 60 frames a second just a touch better than twitch mm -hmm. but twitch has to do it in real time well that's so very true that's yeah. probably why um so we will see you uh next episode 21st with some more homebrew goodness i'm not sure what game i we will play but i'll figure that out before we leave because it'll be too much of a panic when we get <laughs> when back we get back and my and brain will be sleepy. fried and i think I, we get in like 7 a.m or something oh so boy. we come home and sleep so come home sleep and then do the show and uh, yeah 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 if so if we look a little tired you'll you'll know why yeah you'll yeah. understand yeah. and we'll bring tales of everything from yeah <laughs> from mexico from mexico yeah and Erlen will be looking after these fuzzies yes, while we're gone. Yeah. But he won't be doing the show because he doesn't know all the technology here, <laughs> how to start it up and yeah. doing it by himself. Otherwise, he'd probably, he'd probably do it. He might. Yeah. yeah. So thanks for hanging out. And yeah. we'll see you in a little bit on the 21st of Wednesday. Great. Okay. Bye-bye. Bye -bye. <gasps> I didn't record the show locally. Oh, well. Is that uh, recorded at all? Not locally, but it's on Twitch, so I'll have to download the Twitch. Oh no! You didn't. So you just. No, because we're too much to, in a hurry. You have to press record when you do it. Yeah. Mm. To to record it locally. Well, that's okay. You'll get yeah. it off Twitch. It won't be as good as stream, but that's okay. So that sucks, everyone. That's okay. Are you it still happens. on? Yes. I thought you shut it off. No, not yet. <laughs> I'm lamenting the sad fact I oh, didn't record no. it locally. You didn't press the record. That's okay. Yeah. So. <laughs> That's okay. That's okay. I'll, I'll get it from You'll Twitch. get it. You'll get You'll get You'll have something. So It fine. looks almost exactly the same. Oh. Okay. Anyway, bye-bye. Yeah. Bye. Because I was just going to hit stop, but I couldn't. But bye. <laughs> yeah. Yeah.